So if you've been watching some of my recent videos, you may have seen me using this. This is the eight string RG8 from Ibanez. And today I'm gonna to do a review. And I'm also gonna talk about the differences between playing a normal six string and an eight string. First of all, this guitar has eight strings. They use the gauge nine to 65, which is actually the size of a bass string. So that kind of gives you the idea of the range of this thing. What will definitely make a difference to the sound is the two IBZ8 pickups. You've got one in the neck position, one in the bridge position. Um, it may be difficult to see on camera because they're black and the guitar is black and the bridge is also black. That's just a standard fixed bridge. All right, so first of all, a little bit of background. All my other guitars are six strings. So this is my first extended range guitar. And it does take a little bit of getting used to. First of all, the scale length, as I said before, is 27 inches instead of the usual 24 to 26, depending on the guitar. This is done, obviously, because you've got lower pitch strings. So, got that bass string on there. This helps with tuning stability. But what it doesn't help with is playing, because you have to stretch a lot further to get the same notes. Sometimes I'm struggling to... You're stretching so much further to get those notes. That's the first thing that I found difficult to get used to. Secondly, the neck's wider. Everything essentially is bigger. The neck is wider, so when you're reaching around with this hand, fretting, obviously you kind of have to reach right around like that, which isn't the easiest thing to get used to. Luckily, we've got the uh, Wizard 2 neck on there. Even though the neck is wider and the nut is wider and the bridge is wider, the strings themselves are actually closer together. So when you're picking, you have to take that into account. And finger picking is quite difficult unless you've got really thin fingers. But I don't think it's kind of designed with that in mind. But it is possible. Of course, the hardest thing to get used to with this is the fact that there are more strings. I actually, the first time I ever played an eight string was in a guitar shop and I was instantly confused because I refer everything to the E string, the low E, which is now three strings down. And I didn't realize this until I actually played an eight string that I'm now completely lost. Because if you think, okay, bar chord on the fifth fret, on a, on a six string guitar, that A bar chord would be from the lowest string. And when you go to play an eight string, you automatically go, okay, doesn't work. So what's good about this guitar? Well, first of all, eight strings, which is kind of the point of an eight string. You get the extra notes, the B string and the F sharp string. Uh, if you wanted to play something that was in drop D or something, that D is there, you don't need to retune. Or if you wanted to go down to drop A, you've got that right there. And these notes are really clear and well-defined and precise sounding in the low end. Like it doesn't get muddy. And if you say it's budget, it sounds like it's cheap or they've cut corners. And they definitely haven't cut corners with this. I mean, the pickups are a little bit noisy, um, but that's like really the only complaint that I've got about it. Pickups are a bit noisy. It's a bit harder to play than a six string. If you're happy to get used to the extra two strings and the, the difference in playing, you definitely can't anchor with this one. I just thought I'd point that out. Um, so you have to float your, your picking hand. If you're comfortable with six string and you want an extra challenge in playing, you want some extra notes, definitely go for this one. I'll put a link in the description of this video for more information on where you can get these from. As I said, they're not that expensive as guitars go, especially as eight strings go. And it's a really good guitar for the price. So if you like these videos, don't forget to hit the like button and share it with your friends. You can also subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And if you go to my website, chainsawguitartuition.net, you can download a free PDF 
ebook all about practice routine and creating a practice routine and organizing a practice routine. So there's that. And until then, turn up and rock out.